In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve the download certificate error if you receive it while trying to view your system from a modern browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. First, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. I'm going to navigate to the web interface for MyNVR. MyNVR happens to be set to 192.168.1.101. Yours will likely be set to 192.168.1.108 if it's left to the default, or if you've set it to DHCP for remote viewing, then you'll need to go to the TCP IP page for your NVR to find out what your IP address is set to. So again, I'm just going to enter in the IP address my NVR is set to and hit the enter key. It's going to navigate me to this page. I'm going to log in with the admin user and the default password set on my recorder. So now I'm going to go to the live screen just to show what error that you might receive and how to fix that error. So I'm going to pull in this D1 channel. And as you can see, instead of pulling up the view from the channel, it pulled up this download certificate button. You don't need to click and download this certificate button. That would only be if you're trying to remotely view this from a computer on a different network. Since I'm on the same network, I do not need this certificate and I only simply need to enable a setting. So I'll show you which setting to enable. We'll go to the top left hand side to the setting menu, go into the security tab. The setting to enable is found under the system service tab. And then it is the HTTPS tab at the top. I'm going to click that. I can enable this setting. If I'm using an older browser that needs the TLS v1.1, then I can enable this setting. You may want to check it just in case, and it may ask you to prompt to accept that setting. And then click OK to enable this setting. It's going to skip to the login page and take you to an HTTPS login for your recorder. Now you're going to need to click the Advanced button and then click proceed to that IP address since we know it's on the local network and no one's really trying to attack the network. So I'm going to click proceed. It'll take me back into the login screen for the NVR. I'm going to type in that default password again and hit the enter key to log in. I can go back to the live view screen and then it's going to pull up my channel. Now since it's going through the HTTPS protocol, it may take a little longer to pull up the channel. As you can see, after enabling that setting, it was able to pull in the footage without downloading any complicated certificates or installing those certificates to the computer or to the web browser I'm using. Again, you will only need to do that if you actually want to set up HTTPS and access the system from another remote location. Hopefully this video helps you get rid of the download certificate button on the live view screen. Thank you for watching.